Welcome to part six of the Advanced Shipment Notice training series. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to manually pack your ASN. Prior to watching this video, please be sure to view part one of the ASN training series to ensure a basic understanding of the different ASN levels. Other videos in the ASN training series may also be of benefit if you are new to creating ASNs. Let's get started. It is first important to understand why an ASN would need to be manually packed. If you will be shipping multiple cartons, where one or more of the cartons will have a mixture of items or SKUs, then the ASN would need to be manually packed. This would be the same process if you were shipping multiple pallets that contain a mixture of items. For this situation, you will want to use a pick and pack type ASN. There are two ways to manually pack the ASN, and it will depend on your particular shipment to know which method will work best. Let's look at an example of each method using a sample purchase order in Transaction Manager. In this sample purchase order, we can see that the trading partner wants a quantity of 108 eaches for one item and a quantity of 108 eaches for a second item. Let's say the vendor packs 36 of each item into one carton. That means that the vendor would need to ship three cartons total. Before we perform the turnaround to create the ASN, we will first make sure that the pick and pack auto packing setting is set to pure carton. This will ensure that each item will automatically be packed into their own separate containers. After performing a turnaround from the purchase order to create a pick and pack ASN, we can see two pack levels were automatically created. One pack containing 108 eaches of the first item and one pack containing 108 eaches of the second item. As previously mentioned, the vendor is packing 36 of each item into a carton, so we need three pack levels. To add a pack level, first click on the order level. Next, click Add from the action bar and choose Add Pack. There are now three pack levels. The next step will be to distribute the items among the packs. For this example, each pack level will need two item levels. Right now, each pack level only has one, so an additional item level will need to be added to each pack level. To do this, select a pack level, click Add from the action bar, and choose Add Item. Repeat this for each pack level. You will be able to see the item level being added at the bottom of your Transaction Manager view. Finally, edit the item information for each pack level. Each pack should contain a quantity of 36 for each item. Additionally, be sure to modify the number of units in the carton. Another way to manually pack the ASN is to use a method called Copy Paste Special. To begin, we will set the Pick and Pack Auto Packing feature to Mixed Carton. This will ensure that both items are automatically packed into the same container. After performing a turnaround from the purchase order to create a pick and pack ASN, we can see that one pack level was created, containing the two item levels from the purchase order. 
Knowing that we need three packs containing a quantity of 36 of each item, we will first edit the unit's ship field at the item level. Be sure to also modify the number of units in a carton field at the pack level where applicable. Next, we need to add two more packs that mirror the pack we already have created. Staying on the pack level, click Copy on the action bar. And choose Copy Selected Pack. Click on the order level. Click Copy from the action bar and choose Paste to Special. Enter the number of copies. In this case, we need two. Check the Generate UCC 128 box and click OK. If we go to the pack level, we will now see that we have three total packs each containing two item levels that have a quantity of 36 each. This concludes part six of the Advanced Shipment Notice training series. As a reminder for True Commerce customers, for any testing related questions, please contact your assigned implementation specialist. For any production related questions, please contact our support team.